So we're speaking with uh, Brooks Forsyth, and we get another song, I guess, from this new record. Thank you, Roland. This is called Wyoming. Big sky beauty paints my window vacant and scary. Unloading horrors on my hotel stationery. It's a dark road I'm roaming and another haunting night in Wyoming. Ain't this state of the vast plains has kept me from sleeping? It's the state of my mind where my demons are creeping. And your memory's showing on another haunting night in Wyoming. Stopped in to cue my music up in Sheridan And they got me some records of Charlie Rich and Floyd to my hand Almost if they would know him be another haunting night in Wyoming Did I leave you? With a forsaken feeling Too many good times I chased out for the stealing Seems they weren't mine for owning On another haunting night in Wyoming Now I'm heading down through Buffalo to Laramie And it's open plains and skies as far as I can see But when the moon gets to glowing be another haunting night in Wyoming it's a dark road I'm roaming and another haunting night in Wyoming. All right, it's WCW Live Music from Studio B from Brooks Forsyth, and that song is called Wyoming. It's uh, another one, this brand new record called Black Zipper. Is that, is that kind of a, a theme in your writing, kind of moving through space, moving through experience and think, using that? I think for this record it is. You know, it, it, this is sort of the uh, the record. Black Zipper, I'll go ahead and say it. It, it was, uh, I have a friend who's a trucker. He's a truck driver. Mm -hmm. And uh, so when I'm driving across the country, you know, sometimes he'll be doing a route and he's usually doing circles around me and he's <laughs> in an 18-wheeler and I'm in a little car, you know. But uh, he'll call me up every now and then and I'll call him and we'll kind of, for that moment in time, pretend to be, you know, on the CB radio or something. Right. And, and uh and so he called me up one morning. I was coming out of Santa Fe, and, and he said, uh, he said, what are you up to, man? I said, well, I just hopped back on the road. He said, oh, you hopped back on the Black Zipper. The uh, old Black Zipper, did you? Go. I said, what are you talking about? And he said, well, that's what we call the road, the truckers, you know. I said, okay, well, I thought about it for a while, and then ended up naming a song after it and, and then naming a full, full mm -hmm. album after it. So, but um, I have asked crowds of people at times if, if anybody's ever heard that terminology. I, have you ever heard that? I have okay. not, no. Anybody in the room here heard of that? Okay, that's that's usually a, that's usually the response. It's just kind of a dull, you know, <laughs> face. Of what what are you talking about? So, but that's also kind of what I liked about it. That's why I think I think nobody has named a record Black Zipper. Well, well, it's an evocative <laughs> title, whether you know what it is or not. Because I'm like, well, what's he calling it Black Zipper for? So, yeah. <laughs> I appreciate it. I, I'm glad. I'm glad it hit you that way. Yeah. <laughs> Brooks Forsyth is playing on uh, Tuesday night at the Great Eagle 
up in Asheville along with Shay Martin Lovett, another friend of ours here at WCW, and then heading off and uh, sharing this new record across the country. Uh, let's, what guitar are you playing today, Brooks? This is a Martin D28. It's, a, it's one of these authentic models. I like these. If you had talked to me a couple years ago, or I, I probably would have said I never wanted to get a new Martin, but I've heard about these authentic models, and uh, they're based off of the 1937 specs. Mm-hmm. I guess this one is. Um, I don't know much about it. I heard Ford shifted scalped bracing. That's where my my <laughs> mind cut off. You know? But I like to I like to repeat that to people. Yeah, it kind of sounds, sounds yeah. like I, I know it. But yeah. but yeah, it's I, I love it. It's a Madagascar rosewood, Adirondack spruce top, and uh, yeah, it sounds I like great. To pick on it. You know? um, you're playing all finger style. I see you got a pick on the floor over there. Yeah, I'm gonna up switch up over yeah. now to this blue chip pick here. And uh, which which uh-huh. comes first and more easily to you, finger style or with the pick and flat picking? finger style. Yeah. yeah, I I I like to to play that way, um, especially when I'm on the road solo. Mm-hmm. You know, most of the time I'll, I'll probably do most of the set as finger style, just because I think I adapted it. You know, when I started playing solo, because you can get the bass yep. lines in there, and then you can also there you go kind of like patting your head and rubbing your stomach and hopping on one foot at the same time, you know. I, I like your guitar playing a lot, anyhow. Thank you um, very much. I, I read a funny story or an interesting little anecdote somewhere about when you were little and you heard Doc Watson playing. Oh, yeah. It, yeah, the, the first time I saw him was, uh, I guess I was probably three or four years old, and it was at the Valley Cruces Park up there in Valley Cruces, you know, outside of Boone, North Carolina. And, yeah, there's a picture of of me and as probably a three-year-old and I kind of ran up to the side of the stage and uh my dad was there he ran up after me you know and but I was just staring up at Doc Watts and kind of mesmerized I guess by what he was doing yeah. with his with his guitar playing and just about everything he did I mean I and that that was a luxury of being able to to grow up in Boone was I got to see Doc Watts and I don't know how many times mm. and got to see Chet Atkins and Doc Watson on the ASU football field when I was probably <laughs> six or something like that. So that's a, that's a kind of a hazy, distant, dreamy memory, you know. Yeah. But I feel really lucky to be from that area to be able to catch all his shows. I, I, I wonder if anyone else has been influenced by Doc Watson. Just think, I, you <laughs> like know, I think if, if the word would just get out on him, yeah. he, he could really hit, you know. But, I, you know, I, I hear so many people talking about Doc now. I think a lot of it is via Billy Strings, if they haven't already heard of him, you know, but um, it, it's a beautiful thing, I think, that his that his music is, is uh, you know, now hitting a newer generation. Obviously, Doc was was, was known, but but uh, to hear, you know, 20-year-olds today going, man, Doc Watson, Yeah, isn't that awesome. cool how things, some things spin around? And, <laughs> man, it's really cool. Doc Watson, his right hand, it was just a jackhammer, right? He just had so much yeah. power. Yeah, if you watch the video, if you watch the videos, it's like, I, I don't even see, I mean, I don't, you know, it's almost like he, it's effortless and, and the... Um, and yet, and yet, Jack Hammer, like it's like an optical illusion, really. I mean, and you don't. It seems like there's not too much wrist mm-hmm. movement, as more in the arm, you know. Yeah. And, uh, I don't know how he hits all those notes in, <laughs> without with barely moving his hand like right. that. But and then with his with his finger picking, you know, he's doing the Travis style or, mm-hmm. or the, the old Piedmont style, you know, um, where he's doing the thumb and the pointer finger. And that's another optical illusion to me. Is yeah. that, <laughs> okay, I'm looking know, at it, I'm hearing it. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. It's right in front of my face, and yeah. I still have no idea what's going on. But, um, yeah, it, it's, a, it's amazing. I, I'll, I'll always be fascinated by what Doc Watson does. Yeah. All right, we're talking with Brooks Forsyth, and he's playing songs today from his new record, Black Zipper. <laughs> he is playing a show next Tuesday up in Asheville at the Gray Eagle Along with uh, Shay Martin Love It. What time's that thing get going? That's up starts on, at five thirty. Five thirty on the patio there outdoors. That's uh, right. It goes to about well. seven o'clock, and I think the doors are at five. So sounds good. Yeah, come on out, Asheville. You know, We're, this this will be the the first show of this tour. I'm trying to get thirty dates. I'm pretty close to it now, and they're, they're the last few are rolling in here. So, yeah, nice. but uh, this will be the first show of, the, of of this tour I'm doing, and and I'm really happy to be playing with Shay too. So, cool. 